Hey, cuz. Heard you're having money problems. No, you didn't. Listen, I got the answer. You declare bankruptcy, all your problems go away. I declare bankruptcy! You know those people, and I'm sure all of you do, all of us have met someone like this in the past, at least at some point, those kind of people that really only cause their own problems, but then blame everybody else for what's going on. Like, they could do anything, absolutely anything. They could cause their own problem. They could stick a, take a stick and put it into their front bike wheel, if you know what I'm referencing, and then they would blame somebody else. That's the kind of person that we're talking about here. That is exactly Onision. That it that it clarifies him to a T. And today I just wanted to I pulled a couple of videos from his channels and I want to take a look at them and kind of show some examples that we can see pretty clearly that demonstrate exactly how his mindset is revolving that now as always thanks so much for tuning in guys um i mean it means a lot and you know if you enjoyed the video uh, give me a like hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below as well i love talking to you guys but enough with that kind of you know shelling out for the views and the subscriptions kind of a thing i want to get right to the content so let's jump right in to one of his videos now the first one we'll look at is called how much is onision worth and now this one is actually the newer of the two the other one is called i'm falling apart i'm sorry but let's look at that let look at this one first it's how much is onision worth let's jump right in how much is onision worth that's a, a good question you know that actually is a really good question i don't think it's all that popular of a question like i bet if you looked at the how much someone's actually searching this it probably isn't all that often that someone's even typing in onision onto a google search bar but um <laughs> you know what let's give them it whatever um but yeah how much someone's worth is actually one of my favorite questions to look at when you're talking about famous people that are out there and onision's pretty famous when it comes down to it. he's a he's a not a household name but he's a pretty big guy out there now it's always cool to kind of you know pick up the hood and see what's what's going on under there so i'm actually actually a little bit interested to see what what he has going on let's find out um there's a theory that i'm worth two million dollars i wish that was true yeah whose theory is that i <laughs> like where are you pulling the number from man um in my total youtube career i've made about all right the moment we've all been waiting for i i'm excited to find out how much this guy's made over his youtube career it's that's even complicated because Taxes, you know, like you could say Onision's made three million dollars, but you could also say that the government has taken half of that. You see, like I get what he's saying, um, but it's not complicated. Just choose one and tell us, man. Before tax, how much money did you make? If you're not comfortable with that, then tell us after tax how much money you made. That's what we're curious about. Now he kind of sets it up to make it sound like he could have, he's maybe made three million over the course of time so i'm guessing that's i mean as close as we're gonna get to to knowing but yeah let's assume three million but then about half of it i guess was taken out in taxes so i, I mean i guess we'll just let the guy keep talking about it and see and the rest went to like making videos better oh i'm sorry is this video called how much onision spent or how much is Onision worth? I guess, maybe I'm the idiot here. Maybe I'm the one that's confused. But no, but it's double checked. It's definitely how much is Onision worth. So I don't know how that's really relevant. So right now I have a bill of about $600,000. And like considering, like, okay, so like a lot of you are probably freaking out by that idea that I have this pending bill of $600,000. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I'm i not freaking out. I do kind of get your pain a little bit. Like, I, I'm not I'm not worth that. I do not owe anybody even close to that amount of money. But I can see why that would make you sweat a little bit. But usually when there's some sort of bill that's due, it's because there was some sort of service rendered or there was some kind of thing that you were supposed to be doing from the beginning, but um, yeah, you know, that's just me kind of for thinking that, I guess. Um, that I'm supposed to pay like within two years and I can't, not with my current circumstances. So essentially I'm worth nothing. All right, man, there it is. Okay, that that's all we wanted to know. Now, I mean, what's kind of funny, Onision, is it, it, you're not worth nothing, 
Right, I mean, you're maybe worth negative something if we're talking about valuing all your assets together, but you have other things that aren't, you know, liquid money, of course, that you, you have available to yourself. I mean, you do own a house and everything like that, even assuming that you don't have a mo enough money to pay off debts like this, uh, you, you do have ownership of a couple of uh, very large YouTube channels that have, you know, around 2 million subscribers each, and that is something that is kind of counted as an asset. I'm not sure how much that would weather or how that would be measured out wealth-wise. Um, especially when you're not getting any views on them, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind, man. But uh, finally, thanks for coming clean. That, that's kind of what we were here to find out. I know that's that's um that's it's it's my fault and it's it's TurboTax's fault. All right, and this is kind of where we get to the the real meat of the video, the point where he kind of just stops taking responsibility for his own actions. Now. Okay, he kinda half took responsibility, but he also said this. It's it's TurboTax's fault. He, like, that doesn't count, man. You don't gotta get to, get to half take responsibility and then just blame <laughs> an application or a program, all right? And I, other YouTubers have kinda said this, but the real funny thing about it is that TurboTax didn't do your taxes. You did your taxes using TurboTax. In the same way that if you filed your taxes with pen and paper and mailed them out, oh, it wasn't it wasn't my fault. It was the pen's fault. It was the pa piece of paper's fault that the taxes were all written on. I didn't read it right. So I, and I didn't put in all of the correct information. So now I'm getting audited. Now I owe money to the government. But it was the pen and the paper's fault because I didn't write down the right, the right numbers. Yeah, I, it doesn't cut it, man. I'm sorry. It just doesn't cut it. It's, it's TurboTax's fault. You know, like, because the longest time I did um, TurboTax uh, taxes through there, and they didn't tell me about numerous things I needed to know. And it's really unfortunate because, like, okay, so you, some of you may use TurboTax, and it t gives you that green thing at the end, right? TurboTax tells you, oh, you're green, you're, you're fine, these taxes look good. So I would keep doing my taxes until it was green, right? I would, I, if it said there was an error, I'd be like, okay, they need more information. So I'd give them more information until it was green, right? I did that, and then I got in trouble for three years straight of my um, taxes. And I was like confused because TurboTax told me I was fine. Two points. TurboTax can only go off of the information that you provide to TurboTax. It goes down the routes that you choose, all right? So, I mean, it's your fault, man. And two, maybe, just maybe, you know what, if it happened one year and you were like, oh, what the heck, my my taxes I got, got screwed up, but then it happened again and then again, don't you think at some point you'd think, wow, the way I'm filing taxes must really be incorrect and you know what man if you owe six hundred thousand dollars in it's obvious that you were actually making a decent amount of money enough money to the point where you probably could have found somebody after the first year that your taxes weren't done correctly and you could have said hey man i'll pay you a little bit of money if you file my taxes you could have went to a firm any local firm even and said hey could i have you file my taxes for me and you know what they would have done it right, okay? That's all that needed to happen there. And it's not like you didn't have the money. You obviously were making a pretty decent amount of money. So forgive me if I don't feel bad for you right here, man. Forgive me if I don't. So um, as a result, I have been fined an enormous amount and, uh, and now apparently I'm supposed to give up all of my money. Yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't have been a problem if you would have just paid in the money as you were making it, you know, like you were supposed to, like most everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? Like, you almost kind of dug your own grave here, my friend. And it, it, the thing is, <laughs> when you're being audited and they decide, hey man, you didn't pay in enough money, it's because you had money coming in and a percentage of that needed to go to the government and you didn't pay your high your a high enough percentage of it you paid not enough in so it's not like you didn't make six hundred thousand dollars you obviously made more than six hundred thousand dollars six hundred thousand dollars is a piece of the money that you've made in the past that you were supposed to be paying in that's the problem so i have nothing that's how much i'm worth zero 
I mean, assuming this bill goes through, I'm worth zero. If this bill doesn't go through, then I'm fine. But um, $600,000 that, nope, <laughs> that's, that, <laughs> who has $600,000, like, liquid? Almost nobody. Yeah, not to put too fine a point on it, my friend, but obviously at one point, in one form or another, you had that. <laughs> Maybe not $600,000 as a lump sum chunk, but when you were getting maybe, you know, a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there, you were supposed to be paying in a chunk of that each time, right? Or at least putting it to the side so that in case something like this happened, you would have $600,000 available. And I guarantee you, a lot of people that did make the kind of money or do make the kind of money that you were making actually either paid their taxes in or had their money set to the side just in case they were audited and they needed to pay in more right so <laughs> kind of a moot point from you but you know what that's that's pretty much this whole video right here that we were looking at let's jump into the next one this one's from a little bit farther back it's called i'm falling apart i'm sorry and I, let's just jump right in i mean it kind of explains itself so i am fairly certain i'm going to lose most everything i have uh physically because i'm dealing with the people at taxaudit.com and they're representing me and dealing with the IRS who is auditing me for the last three years. Now, this is how I operate business. What I do with my YouTube channels, or what I've done in the last few years, is I've invested most every penny I have, the majority of my income, in more business. Yeah, I mean, obviously those are some pretty bad investments then, huh? Considering the way your channel's been going, but yeah, go on. I bought a lot of things related to business. I've invested in properties for business. I've done a ton of crap thinking to myself, if I was audited, could I explain this to an auditor? Yeah, I bet a lot of those investments made sense, huh? Like a second house just for filming? Yeah, I'm sure that wasn't a waste of money. Oh, what about, what about a company car just to travel between your second house and your first house? Yeah, I'm sure that was a great investment too. Uh, all those other props though, those probably cost a lot of money, huh? What about all of your game systems in your home theater and all those cool gadgets that you have in your room that you were showing off in your house, all of the stuff there. Was that an investment for your channel as well? I'm just curious. I'm asking for a friend, please. I I'd just like to know. And I always bought things based on that logic. Could I explain it to an auditor? Now that they're auditing me for a full three years, they're going to invalidate, most likely, my business car. Because I didn't get this. I didn't log the starting mileage and ending mileage, as well as the address I drove to every single time I drove anywhere. I didn't log those things. Nobody told me to log those things. I never got a formal education on taxes. Yeah, unfortunately, ignorance of the law isn't really a good excuse in this situation, man. It doesn't matter that you didn't know what you were doing. And it surprises me because you, you had such reverence for the law with your weird trippy video. Guys, check out the other video that I made, um, Onision is Falling Apart. Go ahead and check out that video. There's a clip in there of a video where he talks about, you know, going over the speed limit and how that can kill people because it's against the law and how laws equal morality. It's kind of this weird... I think he's trying to be edgy kind of a thing, but it's really cringy, and um, I just think it's funny that all of a sudden it's okay here to break the law, because that's what he did. I mean, he broke the law, he wasn't paying the taxes that he was supposed to be paying, and I think it's funny too that he's all upset that he has to keep track of his company car. You know why, man? You've been writing off expenses. You have been basically, the government has been footing the bill for you to use your car. So if you can't prove that your car was for a business reason, and you know what, why should you be able, in your profession, Onision, why should you justify to us, I think you should have to kind of do something, justify to us why taxpayers should have to foot the bill for your car and your transportation to your second house just for filming. I'd really like to know that. So yeah, dude, color me surprised if I'm not upset or about with you at the IRS about them not validating your car. Your car shouldn't have been a business expense in the first place. You know, and maybe it could, but you have to prove that. The burden of proof is on you to prove to us and the IRS that your car is a business expense. It's a business use car, not a personal use car, all right? I mean, that's, that's on you, man. 
Attacks at all. I use Turbo Attacks, by the way. So this is a warning to anyone using Turbo Attacks. They don't educate you on what you need to know or the stuff that you need to have in order to claim certain things. Yeah, and Microsoft Word doesn't teach you how to write a novel, does it, genius? So you have me dumping the majority of my cash into business, and then you have the IRS coming after me for the majority of the money that I already put into business. Okay, so they're, they're trying to take a chunk of cash that is not mine, it's gone. It's invested in advertising and other services and talent, etc., and cameras, computer equipment, and again, like sets and props, etc. So I, I keep getting these lists and I work seven days a week on videos. So I can entertain my patrons on patreon.com slash Anision, and so I can entertain people on my YouTube channels. Now, people are mad because my main channel is a paid channel now. And they say I'm money hungry. If anything, it, it's more like I'm money desperate. Yeah, feels bad, bro. Uh, must, must be hard to have made a tremendous amount of money, not paid your taxes, and then your, your swift fall from grace here happened, and now all of a sudden that money's due. That must be really hard for you, Onision. Because I have just the most insane wave coming to wipe out my life. The IRS is saying that, or at least that appears to be what they're saying, that if I don't have receipts for every single claim that I have made, as far as I just assume the credit card statements would work, and I figured, you know, those are honest, those are black and white straightforward, and that's fine. I also sent them, you know, Amazon lists of all my Amazon expenses and, and wrote next to them what each thing was. I also did PayPal, what each thing was. For three full years, somehow I've managed to do this and upload videos daily to my patrons and upload videos daily to my subscribers. I've done all these things for months now and now they're saying hundreds of thousands of dollars based on what I saw are invalid expenses unless I provide receipts. Hundreds of thousands of dollars will make me lose my house. Which one? Make me lose my cars. Make me lose everything I work for. If I lose these things, what do I have to show for the last 10 years of me being a YouTuber, other than these videos that people aren't even allowed to watch anymore because I'm being algorithmically demoted. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what the problem is. I'm sure it's not that your content is garbage or that you're kind of a nasty person, you're kind of condescending and rude. I'm sure it's the algorithm that's your problem, Onision. I'm sure that's the case. The algorithm is specifically targeting you and shoving all of your videos to the bottom of the barrel. Or I just suck, you know, I don't, I, I can't prove definitively which it is. Onision, I'm gonna give you some honest, honest life advice from the heart here, okay? Go into the bathroom, look at a mirror, and just look at yourself for a while, and ask yourself, am I a good person? Have I really been treating people the way that I, I would wanna be treated myself, as an example? Have I been, do I deserve what's happening to me? or is everyone out to get me? Which of these two situations is more likely? That YouTube and all of these other content creators specifically target you, like just because of your success, or just because you're kinda there? Like, do you think that's that they're, that's why they're targeting you? Or it's because sometimes you're not a very nice person and people don't really like that about you, man? Which one of those do you think it is? I, like, you know what, I'll just tell you the answer. It's because you're not a very nice person. You know, like I was doing great for 10 years and then Adpocalypse hit and my channel magically plummeted after 10 years of consistent views. And on top of that, Adpocalypse is paying me one tenth of what I used to make. So if you're, if you're making say uh, $10,000 a month, you're now making $1,000 a month. Yeah, I have a couple things to say about this. One, Adpocalypse, or Adpocalypse didn't just hit you, man. It hit everybody. And you know what everybody else did? They adapted. Okay, you, just like your content on YouTube, has not, you haven't adapted at all. Your content is 10 years old, your mindset is 10 years old. This isn't the same old platform anymore, it's not old YouTube. A lot of things have changed, and that's another thing to keep in mind as well. Even assuming things kind of stayed the same with YouTube, 
you're in an extremely volatile platform, man. One day you might be doing well, but you could say the wrong thing and end up at the bottom of the barrel. You could lose popularity over time. Other people could do what you're doing better and replace you. That's something that you always have to keep in mind. It's the same in any other entertainment field. If there's a great sitcom and then another great sitcom comes out and kind of pushes it out, that kind of tends to happen. And what you should have been doing, Onision, is being responsible with your money. You should have put some of it away and you should have correctly maintained it. And I'm not even saying like, like, like as an example, one thing that would have been responsible for anyone that's making over about $100,000 a year, especially if you're doing it in a non-traditional way, if you're not working a nine to five job and and you're making a lot of money or if you're self-employed and you're making a lot of money then and you don't understand taxes and you don't as you said have a formal tax education then why aren't you paying someone to do your taxes right I mean, come on, man. You have multiple properties, a ton of assets with cars and everything like that that are depreciating, but you're trying to file them or you're trying to claim them as you know write-offs through taxes. You should have had someone that you were paying. I'm sorry, man. I know it costs money. I know it costs more than the $30 that TurboTax does, but you should have been paying somebody to do your taxes for you. And because you didn't take responsibility in that action, I and a lot of other people don't really feel sorry for you. And guess what? Life for most people costs more than $1,000 a month in America. Now you may say, oh, you got your patron to support you. Yes, I do. It gets me by right now. But this tidal wave of about, I don't know how, how much are they gonna charge me for three years on an income I don't even make anymore. I don't even make, I probably make a 10th of what I used to make. So let's see, um, I'm gonna get hit with a bill that's probably like, I don't know, if they invalidate all my receipts, it could be anywhere from a uh, hundred to four hundred thousand dollars. I can't live in this house anymore. I have to sell this house if that's the case. And who knows if it's going to sell because it's going to be in the the winter time when I would have to move. So it's probably going to drag out. I'll have crippling bills I can't pay. And all the while, I'm just trying to make people laugh. I'm just trying to entertain people. Hey man, I get it, it sucks. You don't have that income anymore, but that's not what they're taxing you on. They're not trying to tax you a ton on your income now. They're taxing you on income that you've already made, all right? You have a responsibility for your own money and your own actions and your own decisions. It was nobody's fault but your own for not being responsible with your money. And like I said, I, I get it, it sucks, okay? But if you were just paying in the correct amount each year, it wouldn't have happened. You could have paid in that money when that actually was how much money that you were making. Obviously, you were making a lot of money if $600,000 is the amount that's paid in. That's a lot of money, man. I, I know you seem like a pretty out of touch guy, Onision. That's more money than a lot of people will kind of you know deal with over the course of a decade or multiple decades even, all right? That is a tremendous amount of money. Now, <laughs> I'm just trying to make people laugh, he says. If you were just trying to make people laugh, man, like, like I get it, but here's the problem, is you making people laugh, you creating videos and you driving traffic was creating income for you, right? And in creating income for you, a portion of that needed to be paid in. So I get it, you were just trying to make people laugh. I mean, if it was truly an altruistic thing, maybe you cut down on the, on the Patreon and maybe cut down on the advertising rev for the most part, just so you had enough money to live a comfortable life. But obviously, I mean, things are being pushed and I'm not faulting you. I'm not faulting Onision for trying to make money off his channel. I get it. But because you were making money off your channel, you owe a portion of that money in, in tax, in taxes to the government, and you didn't pay that money, man. It's your own fault. You know, you may say these are first world problems. I don't see how losing your house is a first world problem. I don't see how working for 10 years straight to achieve these things, working every day for 10 years straight. I maybe had a total of a month's worth over 10 years of days of not working scattered about. <coughs> This just in, guy who made multiple millions of dollars over the course of a decade, but did not pay his taxes in, which now has taxes due, and it's going to bankrupt him. Doesn't think that's a first world problem, huh? I, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you think what he's talking about here is a first world problem? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. It, it, let me know if you think it is, if you think it isn't. I mean, if you kind of feel bad for the guy. It's just, what gets me about this, the guy obviously has made a tremendous amount of money doing what he's been doing. Way, 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 way more than the average. 
right? Like the guy's made multiple millions of dollars over the course of a decade on YouTube. And now that the bill's finally coming due for it, not even entire, the entirety of what he made, but just a portion of what he made, now he's gonna throw a fit and say, you know, I don't understand how people think this is a first world problem. Yeah, dude, because your net worth, you were a multimillionaire, man. You, you had an, a net income of over a million dollars over the course of a decade. That's rare. That is super rare. You were in the 1%, Onision. As far as we can tell, you were in the 1% and you didn't pay your taxes. You went out of your way to, to kind of irresponsibly handle your money, and now your money's gone, man. And now you want us to feel bad for you? I'm sorry, it's a first world problem. You screwed up. And now the IRS is going to try and destroy me because I don't have more than credit card statements. And I didn't, I didn't log every single time I drove a car and said the address I went to every single time. And they also want to know Every single time I had a business meal with somebody, what our conversations were at those business meals over the last three years. As if, like, what's the point of a business credit card if you have to prove your transactions? Dog, the point of a business credit card is to use it for specifically business. That's why it can be written off. And the reason you're proving transactions is to say, hey, I was using this for business not for some weird personal reason, all right? And you know why they wanna know what you were talking about at these business meals? It's because they wanna make sure, get this, they wanna make sure that it has to do with business, not personal. Shouldn't it be self-evident based on your consistency? Like they haven't caught me in a single lie because I don't lie. <laughs> okay. But that's not good enough for the IRS. You know, we, it's, it doesn't, you're not innocent until proven guilty. You're guilty until proven innocent. That's the opposite of America. Yeah, I mean, except for your, uh, like, you are innocent until proven guilty, Onision. And if, you, in this situation, if they were considering you guilty until proven innocent, you would have had to pay in that $600,000 immediately. You would have had the chance to try to lobby to figure out exactly how much money was owed <laughs> to before that bill came due, man. So I, I like I don't understand what your point is. Obviously, you fundamentally don't understand what's going on. You were innocent, and then you were found to be guilty, man. That's that's exactly what happened. Or at least, you know, America's bullshit. If you think about it, like we contradict ourselves so much. We are so full of crap. You know, like I joined the Air Force a long time ago, thinking, oh, who uh, we're a great country. We're we're just saving the world from themselves. And then I go to South Korea, and I see that these people are just as good, if not better, than us. Lose my will to fight. Who are you fighting? The South Koreans? No, you, you were there to help defend the South Koreans, right? Against the North Koreans, which I bet you would argue, I mean, uh, uh, maybe, like, physiologically, of course, they're very similar, but um, socially or governmentally, I guess you could say, policy-wise, it's very different, and that's kind of probably why you were stationed in South Korea. I mean, obviously, he makes it sound like he was stationed in like a, a, a war zone or something like that. He's in South Korea. They're a modern nation. Of course, those people were very similar. So you, I lost the will to fight, man. I was fighting those South Koreans, and I realized, wow, they had a Samsung phone, just like me, and I lost the will to fight. Yeah, you weren't fighting them, fool. All right, you don't know what you're talking about. And two, <laughs> so what? It's America's fault as well. It's TurboTax's fault. America's fault. He's like, it's it's my fault. It's also TurboTax's fault and America's fault. So you know, I don't understand why everyone's on my case. And then I see this too, where we're literally eating our own people. They know goddamn well are telling the truth because I've proven every single every single piece of evidence, every document I've had that I found that's relevant, I've sent to them. I mean, obviously not, because otherwise you wouldn't owe money to the government. Or in, in the ad inverse case, you have sent them the correct documentation, they have looked at said documentation and said, wow, man, it says here you uh, wrote off a business card, but you were using it for about 80% personal use. So uh, yeah, we're gonna invalidate that. that. That could have also happened as well. They have my whole, they have three different massive cases of documents proving what I'm saying is true. But they're like, but you don't have the receipt for this thing over here. You don't have that. So that must mean all of these transactions are total lies. Even though you've proven all these other transactions, 
These ones are just automatically lies. We haven't caught you in a single lie, but we're gonna call someone who's been nothing but honest a liar because that's how the fucking IRS works. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what's going on. I'm sure that they looked at all of your very, very, very valid files and said, you know what, everything looks to be in order here, but uh, let's screw this guy. Let's just get him, let's get him good. You know what, that actually might have happened if they'd seen your YouTube channel. That, that could be a case, that could be something that happened. So as you know, I have a family, okay? This isn't just me. So on September 11th, good day to pick a house to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that factored into their decision making process, Onision. I'm sure that they specifically chose that date for the the terrible irony of it, huh? After all, what's happening to you is is equivalent to what actually happened on that date, right? At least that's the way you kind of make it sound like. They're going to walk through my house, they're going to see my fucking family, and they're going to see the people that they are kicking out of Okay, Crocodile Tears Dundee, let's leave your family out of this, okay? This is your screw up. You screwed up 100%, it's your fault. If your family is kinda involved in this, I mean, it's it's your doing, dude, but enough with the Crocodile Tears, okay? We don't need this. This is ridiculous, you look like a dork. <laughs> they're gonna walk to this fucking house and see the life that they're destroying because I don't fucking have these receipts. Are you wearing eyeliner? Anyway, so to everyone on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, get a grip, all right? Get a grip. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help. I'm gonna continue Trying to make videos to entertain you every fucking day. <laughs> you know, the set pieces were great. The actor's performance, though, wasn't all that. If I had a tip for you, Onision, I would say don't quit your day job. But although if you had a day job, maybe you wouldn't be in this kind of a situation, huh? <laughs> Anyways, <coughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. I mean, it means a lot to me when you guys make it through the video and uh, to this kind of part right here. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. And I have a question for you, uh, as always. Um, and I want your answers down in the comments below. What do you think? I mean, do you do you feel bad for the guy? Like I said kind of earlier, do you think it's a first world problem? Or uh, if you had to put a percentage on it, what percentage of this issue that he's having is his own fault? All right. I don't like to usually taint it. Um, I usually like to throw my, my answer though, 90, 95%. That's where I'm sitting with it. Uh, if I had to move lower, maybe I'd go as low as 80% his fault. But I mean, almost, almost, 100% of it, I would say, is Onision's fault. Um, the guy's obviously kind of done it him, himself. And, you know, I want to feel bad for him. And I've said it in my other videos. I want to feel bad for him. But every time I get close, he does something ridiculous. And kind of the same thing with that little fake crying scene he does at the end there. It's embarrassing, man. Don't don't sit there and cry in front of the camera and try to tug on people's heartstrings, okay? Obviously, you're not a super nice guy. And it's stuff like that that kind of shows it off right there. But other than that, guys, you know, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night.